Have you ever felt like your life is adrift amid the endless temptations and distractions of a modern world filled with disturbances? How do we maintain steadfastness and overcome all challenges? Let me take you on a journey to uncover the precious secrets of Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and great philosopher of Stoic philosophy, to cultivate self-discipline and live a meaningful life. Marcus Aurelius, one of history's greatest thinkers, dedicated his life to the pursuit of truth and wisdom. His teachings are not just dry philosophical principles but sincere and profound advice on how to live rightly. Applying these principles, we can not only achieve personal accomplishments but also find inner peace. In this video, we will explore together the 10 Stoic principles that Marcus Aurelius practiced and taught. These principles will help you master the art of self-discipline. From finding your life's purpose and believing in yourself to showing up every day and practicing voluntary hardship, each principle carries transformative power, helping you become the best version of yourself. Do you dare to accept the challenge and discover your true inner strength? Start right now. Join us in experiencing and absorbing the wonderful principles of Stoic philosophy to live a life not only full of meaning, but also brimming with happiness and peace. Number 1. Finding Your Purpose Finding life's purpose is not only an important journey, but an essential one for every human being. How can we find true peace and satisfaction if we do not clearly understand our reason for existence? For Marcus Aurelius, the quest for life's purpose was not just a personal journey, but the foundation for every action and decision. He believed that a life with a clear purpose brings steadfastness, direction, and genuine joy. Marcus Aurelius was not the only one to recognize the importance of having a purpose. Jesus Christ, in his teachings, also emphasized that a purposeful life is one of serving others and seeking deeper meaning. Jesus said, I am the way the truth, and the life, indicating that divine guidance and purpose can help us find the right path in life. A life without purpose is like a ship without a compass, drifting aimlessly at sea. But when we define our purpose, we gain direction and strong motivation to overcome any difficulties. Have you ever felt like you were living without knowing where you were headed? Have you ever wondered why you feel empty and meaningless even when you have everything material? Look at the life of Marcus Aurelius. Although he was an emperor with power and wealth, he always sought deeper meaning in every action. He not only led the Roman Empire, but was also a philosopher, constantly questioning the purpose and true value of life. This not only helped him overcome challenges and trials, but also inspired millions through the centuries. Finding life's purpose requires us to ask ourselves, what truly matters to me? And how can I contribute to this world? Sometimes, life's purpose can be as simple as seeking inner peace, serving our community, or spreading love and compassion. Start your journey to find your purpose today. Let the teachings of Marcus Aurelius and Jesus Christ guide you, helping you find light and clear direction in life. Once you find your purpose, you will find the strength to overcome any challenges and live a truly meaningful life. Number 2. Count on yourself. Believing in oneself is a core principle of Stoic philosophy, and Marcus Aurelius devoted much effort to explaining this. He believed that everyone has the internal strength to control their mind and actions, regardless of external influences. Stoic philosophy advises us that instead of seeking validation from the outside, we should trust in ourselves and our core values. Marcus Aurelius encouraged us to focus on self-improvement rather than worrying about others' opinions. He wrote, We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. The question is, how can we truly believe in ourselves? First, recognize that self-confidence doesn't come from external achievements, but from understanding and accepting oneself. As Jesus taught, Seek strength from within and have faith in God. In the Bible, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it will obey you. This illustrates the miraculous power of inner faith. 
Try a simple practice each day. Take some time to reflect on the things you have done well and the values you uphold. Record small successes and wise decisions and use them as motivation to trust yourself more in everyday life. Remember that self-confidence and belief in oneself are the foundations for overcoming any challenge. As Marcus Aurelius taught, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Let your self-belief guide you through difficulties, turning obstacles into opportunities for growth and success. We are curious to know, have you ever doubted your abilities and felt overwhelmed by others' judgments and opinions? Do you wonder if you are strong enough to overcome life's challenges and difficulties? Your story can be a source of inspiration and insight for us to reflect on and learn from. Leave a comment below and join the conversation. Number 3. Show up every day. Have you ever wondered why successful people always share the common trait of perseverance? This is precisely the principle of showing up every day, one of the solid pillars of Stoic philosophy. For Marcus Aurelius, perseverance was not just a virtue but a way of life. This principle is simple yet profoundly meaningful. No matter what difficulties you face, always show up and work every day. It is an unwavering commitment to yourself and your goals. Think of the image of Jesus Christ, who persistently spread the message of love and hope despite the challenges and dangers he faced. Jesus showed up every day, sowing seeds of faith and determination, transforming millions of lives. You might ask, how can I apply this principle to my life? Start with the smallest tasks. You don't need to complete enormous tasks every day. Instead, set small goals and persistently achieve them. This could be reading one page of a book, writing a journal entry, or even exercising for 10 minutes each day. These small actions, when maintained consistently, will lead to significant changes. Consider the story of Thomas Edison, who failed thousands of times before inventing the light bulb. He did not give up but showed up every day in his laboratory. Edison once said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. It was his perseverance and determination that led him to brilliant success. So are you ready to show up every day and persist with your goals? Remember, success is not a destination, but a journey. And that journey begins with showing up and making an effort every day. Now, let's move on to secret number four in our journey to discovering and conquering our best capabilities. But before that, let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered how to find your true strength during the most challenging times? This question leads us to discuss secret number four, practicing voluntary hardship. Number four, practice voluntary hardship. In life, difficulties are inevitable. But can we learn to face them with a different mindset? Practicing voluntary hardship is not only a way to strengthen our spirit, but also a path to discovering our inner strength. Just as Jesus Christ spent 40 days and nights in the desert, facing temptation and suffering, he chose the difficult path to demonstrate his steadfastness and faith in God. Through this, he taught us valuable lessons of patience and courage. So, have you ever wondered how we can learn from hardships and turn them into opportunities for growth? Consider those who have willingly chosen the difficult path to achieve noble goals. For example, Mahatma Gandhi endured unimaginable hardships in his struggle for the freedom and rights of the Indian people. He fasted, endured imprisonment, and faced violence, yet never abandoned his faith and determination. Through these hardships, he not only changed the fate of a nation, but also became an endless source of inspiration for the world. Voluntarily facing difficulties helps us cultivate patience, courage, and an indomitable spirit. When you willingly place yourself in challenging situations, you not only learn to cope with them, but also become stronger and more prepared to tackle any challenge in life. Are you ready to accept and face voluntary hardships to discover the hidden strength within you? Remember, each difficulty is an opportunity for growth and development. When you choose to confront them with courage and determination, you not only become the best version of yourself, but also inspire those around you. Start today, 
Choose the difficult path and turn it into a journey of self-discovery for it is in the most challenging times that we truly realize our strength. Number 5. Practice the dichotomy of control. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength, said Marcus Aurelius. Ask yourself, how many times have you worried about things you cannot change? How often have you felt angry or sad because of events beyond your control? Stoic philosophy advises us to channel our energy into what we can control, our thoughts, emotions, and actions. When you learn to distinguish clearly between these two, you will find peace and true freedom. Jesus also taught, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. This statement not only reflects the wisdom of Stoic philosophy, but also reinforces the belief that we should live in the present, focusing on what we can control, and not letting worries about the future dominate our current lives. To illustrate this further, consider a daily life example. You are preparing for an important presentation. Instead of worrying about how the audience will react or what technical issues might arise, focus on thoroughly preparing your content and honing your presentation skills. These are things you can control. When you spend your time and energy perfecting these aspects, you will feel more confident and ready to handle any situation that comes your way. Ask yourself, is this within my control? If the answer is no, let it go. If the answer is yes, act with all your enthusiasm and determination. In this way, you are not only practicing Stoic philosophy but also living a life worth living, filled with peace and meaning. Remember, controlling your thoughts, emotions and actions is the key to unlocking the door to inner peace and freedom. Let the teachings of Marcus Aurelius and Jesus guide you helping you live a life not influenced by uncontrollable factors, and in doing so, you will find the true strength within yourself. We want to extend our thanks and congratulations to you for making it halfway through today's video. Your presence here shows that you are fully prepared for this journey. Now, let's shift our attention to the remaining five principles and continue the path toward self-improvement and mastery. Number 6. Never play the victim. Have you ever felt that life seems unfair and that you are merely a victim of circumstances? Playing the victim only makes us weaker, whereas facing and accepting responsibility for our lives makes us stronger and more resilient. No matter how difficult the circumstances, it is our mindset and reactions to these challenges that determine the quality of our lives. Jesus also taught, get up, take your bed, and walk. This saying not only signifies physical healing, but also carries a powerful spiritual message. We can overcome adversity through our strength and faith. Never playing the victim means taking responsibility for our lives and not blaming circumstances or others. Imagine someone who loses their job. Instead of drowning in disappointment and blaming society, that person can choose to see this situation as an opportunity to develop new skills or pursue a passion they previously did not have the chance to explore. Stoic philosophy teaches that we cannot control everything that happens to us, but we can control how we react. Realizing that we are not victims of circumstances helps us find inner strength and peace. Ask yourself, when faced with difficulties, do I often feel like a victim? Do I blame others or circumstances instead of finding ways to solve the problem? Accepting the victim role only makes us weaker and diminishes our autonomy. Change your perspective, and from there you will find more positive solutions. By giving up the victim role, we will see that we have much greater power to change our lives. Look at the life of Jesus, who endured much suffering, but always maintained faith and determination. He never saw himself as a victim but always believed in his higher mission. From this, we learn the valuable lesson that no matter how tough the circumstances, we can always overcome them if we keep our faith and patience. Combining the philosophy of Marcus Aurelius and the teachings of Jesus, we realize that true strength lies within us. Never let yourself become a victim of circumstances. Stand up, take responsibility, and find your path. In doing so, you will live a fuller and more meaningful life.
Number 7. Practice Delayed Gratification Practicing delayed gratification is about learning to be patient and wait rather than seeking immediate satisfaction. Marcus Aurelius emphasized that patience and the ability to wait are key to achieving great and lasting things. Have you ever wondered why many people fail to achieve long-term goals? One reason is that they are easily drawn into short-term temptations, overlooking the value of waiting and patience. We live in a world where everything seems instantly available, from fast food to information on the internet. However, truly valuable things often require time and persistence. Let's consider a daily life example. You're trying to save money to buy a house. Instead of spending on unnecessary items right away, you choose to delay that instant gratification to achieve a bigger goal. This not only brings you closer to your dream, but also cultivates discipline and patience. Jesus also taught, for what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? This teaching reminds us that long-term and sustainable values are far more important than short-term satisfactions. By delaying gratification, we not only achieve greater goals but also live a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Another concrete example of delayed gratification can be found in the story of psychologist Walter Mischel and the Marshmallow Test. In this experiment, children were given a choice, eat one marshmallow, immediately or wait a while, and receive two. The results showed that children who were able to wait and delay gratification often led more successful lives later on. This underscores the importance of self-control and patience. Indeed. When you learn to delay gratification, you not only control immediate desires but also become stronger in pursuing greater and more meaningful goals. Let Stoic philosophy and the teachings of Jesus guide you, helping you live a life of patience, discipline, and significance. So, are you willing to give up temporary desires to achieve higher goals in life? If you're ready, leave a comment with delay gratification to show your determination to change and let's discuss how we can apply Stoic philosophy to build a better life. Remember, in every challenge, there is an opportunity for those who know how to seize it. Number 8. Ignore naysayers. In life, we often encounter criticism and negative attitudes from others. How can we avoid letting this negative energy weaken our spirit? Stoic philosophy advises us to ignore negative people and focus on our path. Throughout his life and mission, Jesus faced much opposition and criticism from those around him. Instead of being influenced by these negative words, he chose to focus on his mission and convey love and compassion. Jesus said, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Through this, he taught us that ignoring negative people and responding with compassion and love is the best way to keep our spirit strong. A prime example of ignoring negative people can be seen in the life of Martin Luther King Jr. He faced countless opposition, threats, and criticism in his struggle for civil rights. However, instead of being drawn into the negativity, King maintained his faith and stayed committed to his path. He said, Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Or take an example from daily life. You are working hard to achieve an important goal, but someone constantly criticizes and belittles your efforts. Instead of being affected and losing motivation, remember that their opinions do not define you. Focus on those who support and encourage you, and use negativity as motivation to prove your worth and abilities. Ask yourself, how can I focus on the positive and ignore the negative words around me? By focusing on higher values and goals, we can build a strong spirit that is not swayed by external negativity. Start today by learning to ignore negative people and focus on the positive aspects of life. Only when we maintain inner peace and stay true to our path can we truly become the best version of ourselves and spread light to those around us. In exploring the profound wisdom of Stoicism, I am deeply impressed by this proverb. Live according to the example of those who have proven their wisdom and virtue. This saying brings us to a core practice of Stoicism, which is also key number nine to becoming exceptionally wise. 
By following the examples of those who have demonstrated wisdom and virtue, we can better navigate life's challenges and maintain our focus on what truly matters. The lives of figures like Jesus and Martin Luther King Jr. provide powerful blueprints for how to respond to negativity with strength, love, and determination. By embodying these principles, we can rise above criticism and negativity, staying true to our values and goals. Number 9. Find wise people to emulate. Ask yourself, who do you admire and respect the most? What is it about them that makes you feel inspired and eager to learn from them? In life, we encounter many people, but only a few are truly worth emulating. These individuals often live with honesty, determination, and compassion. They are not only successful in their careers, but also lead meaningful and valuable lives. Consider a specific example. You might admire a renowned leader, a dedicated teacher, or even a friend who lives with integrity and persistence. Learning from them not only helps you develop skills and knowledge, but also fosters admirable virtues. Jesus also said, Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. This teaching encourages us to follow his example and emphasizes the importance of humility and compassion. We can find wise role models in our daily lives, from teachers and friends to historical and religious figures. By learning from them, we not only expand our knowledge, but also cultivate personal ethics and qualities. Emulating wise people helps us navigate life, overcome difficulties, and achieve lofty goals. Remember, finding wise people to emulate is a continuous journey. Always keep your perspective broad, seek out exemplary figures, and learn from them every day. In doing so, you will not only become the best version of yourself, but also help build a strong and inspiring community. Number 10. Honestly review your day. Have you ever sat down at the end of the day and asked yourself, how was my day? Honestly assessing your day not only helps you identify areas for improvement, but also allows you to acknowledge small achievements, leading to a more meaningful life. Honestly evaluating your day involves looking back at everything that happened, not just to praise your accomplishments, but also to recognize mistakes and shortcomings. By doing this, you are striving for perfection like a meticulous sculptor continuously refining their masterpiece. Jesus also taught us to live with honesty and self-reflection. In the Bible, Jesus said, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. This reminds us to live in a state of awareness and continuous self-improvement, always ready for any challenge. Imagine you are writing a nightly journal where you record your thoughts feelings and actions of the day. This is not just a way to remember, but also an opportunity to learn and grow. For example, if you notice you lost your temper in a certain situation, ask yourself, what caused me to react this way? How can I improve next time? These questions help you gradually build a peaceful and steadfast mind. Daily self-assessment also helps you recognize and appreciate the beautiful moments in life. The small successes you often overlook. You might ask, what good did I do today? Who did I bring joy to? These questions not only help you focus on the positive, but also encourage you to continue spreading joy and kindness in your daily life. By evaluating and reflecting on your day, you always know where you are and what you need to do to achieve your goals. Let the teachings of Marcus Aurelius and Jesus guide you, helping you live a meaningful life always moving forward with honesty and awareness. Self-discipline is the solid foundation for building a meaningful and fulfilling life. The Stoic principles of Marcus Aurelius are not just guides to navigate challenges and hardships, but also an endless source of inspiration to explore and maximize your inner potential. Remember, the journey of self-discipline is not an easy path, but it is in those moments of facing difficulties that we realize our true strength. As Jesus taught, be patient, persistent, and live with love. Do not fear difficulties, for each challenge is an opportunity to grow and perfect yourself. Live a life that not only exists but shines, becoming an inspiration and guide for those around you. Start today, 
Apply the Stoic principles in your daily life and train self-discipline with determination and commitment. Let each passing day bring you one step closer to the best version of yourself. This journey will not only bring you peace and happiness, but also help you live a life full of meaning and value. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the channel, leave your thoughts in the comments, and share the video with friends and family to spread the valuable teachings of Stoic philosophy. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos on Stoic living and personal development.